All right, we are back with uh, Gidget in the Mysterious Theory of Hoppity Town. This is it, the fle um, floodier than I remembered. Tell me about it. Good thing we decided to take off our shoes beforehand, just in case. You've been here before? Not doing something illegal, if that's what you're implying. No, I would never. Regrax, Kokri. Um, I'm just kidding. To answer your question, yes, I've been here before. I know this place is pretty much abandoned, but sometimes a few of my cases led me here. Funnily enough, they tend to be about missing things. I just never thought I'd have to search for a missing person, too. We're similar, then. I, too, had to check out a few things about missing items over here. Though there have been some cases of citizens attempting to bathe... Bathing? I mean, maybe it was nice all those years ago before our frog ancestors evolved, but I don't really see the, uh, the appeal now. The water's way too murky, and you can always have a warm bath at home. I sound like Crest. I guess you're rubbing, um, they're rubbing off on you. Who knows? <clears throat> Let's start searching, shall we? I have a feeling that we'll find Crest here. I'm surprised there was an investigation, like, thing there. Alright, uh, maybe the feeling I had was, uh, was slightly wrong. Where is that gecko? Are you sure about this, Gidget? We've been searching for hours. I trust you, but I'm not sure if we'll find Crest here. Maybe they ran away. Crest wouldn't do that. Gidget? What do I do? Was I wrong after all? Did Crest really run away? Damn it. Oh? Oh, my eyes! Crest, is that you? Gidget, they were hiding at the top of the tree. Crap. Wait. Stop running, uh, stop swinging from branch to branch. Are they a gecko or a freaking monkey? Predicted that the thief was a monkey earlier. <laughs> Alright, you asked for a gecko. Time for Gidget's big jump. Ha! Ah. Uh. The water is so dirty. Serves you right. If you hadn't run away, you'd still be sparkling clean. Will you talk to us now? Yes, good. Insect trafficking? Not too loud. Uh, insect trafficking? Yes, unfortunately. How'd you even find out? A few days ago I spotted this. This toad, uh, this toad crook carrying a few jars of dead flies. And I'm afraid it's even worse than that. He was also talking about, on his frog phone, about a plan to eradicate Hoppity Town and its citizens. That's why I... You acted as a spy and tried to get his trust. Yeah, the robberies were just a distraction, so that the police would focus on that instead of the big crime. Will you guys stop fin uh, finishing my sentences for one second? No. Okay, I guess I deserve that for not telling you right away. Anyway, I decided to help uh, Bully to earn his trust while investigating him in his lair at the same time. This way I'd be able to gather enough evidence against him. Bully? That's a toad's name. Bully, more like bullshit. Digit! So cool. Don't encourage her, Croak. Of course, uh, um, as you haven't used the F- As if you haven't used the F word before. As I was saying, I- <laughs> As I was saying, I helped Bully with infiltrating the house in Hoppity Town by lockpicking the doors. Incredible, unbelievable. Miss Loli Hops wasn't the exception, right? She was scared of the recent burger release, so she had to take the extra measure to protect her door of a wooden bar. Or the window. Yeah, but we weren't expecting Miss Lollyhops to be up so early. That's why, unlike the other houses, I didn't make it in time to clean up Bully's tra uh, tra tracks after he stole her mittens. I actually thought that was my chance to catch him, but I underestimated him. Don't tell me, is that why you were with, uh, why you were in the alleyway? That damn toad told me to meet him there so we could plan our next move. All he did was leave the stolen items in the trash can where he saw the pol when he saw the police were near. What a farce. Sounds like he was trying to set you up. Gidget, we should get to his lair before he manages to escape. I'll buy you some time and distract him. You and Croak should collect all the evidence to frame him, and then we'll be able to catch him red-handed. Wait, his lair? What do you mean? There's nothing... Wait, is that a house? You're right, why didn't I see it before? It must have been the fog. We couldn't see Crest hiding in the tree either. Well, at least, um, at least until my great splash. Very funny. Anyway, I'll go on ahead. Please be careful, both of you. Don't worry, Crest. As a police officer, no, as a fellow investigator, I've got your back. I'm counting on you. Let's do this, team. Alright, we should hurry now that Crest's uh, buying us some time. Let's go inside. It's so dark. Ack, 
What happened? I think I bumped into something. Boy, are you okay? Uh, we should, uh, we should, we still should turn on the lights, though. That might give us away. I'm good, uh, Gidget, but more importantly, look at this. It was right on top of the furniture. There are flies. Dude, I want to know more about the lore of this universe, like... <laughs> this is huge. Let's see what more uh, we can find, and then we can tell the Force to analyze all the evidence. Good point. Yeah, let's grab as many clues as we can. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Froggy. Gidget, run. Look out. Oh my god. Croak? I'm okay, catch him before he escapes. On it. Get back here, you big warty toad. Warty toad? What's so funny? You really need uh, to get more creative with your insults. Whatever, I'm a detective, not a comedian. Surrender. Oh, that's rich. What a teeny tiny frog like, like you is gonna do about it. I'll kick your butt, that's what. You should please don't provoke him. That's why I didn't want you to get involved. Too late for that, partner. I'm already very much involved. Sorry, I should have bought you more time. I should have... Now, Krusty, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That looked wrong. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Let them go, you fiend. Are you sure you're in any position to be making demands, Froggy? He has a knife. That's more like it. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll be leaving with your, uh, with your friend over here until we pass through the door. You and Mr. Policeman over there won't move a muscle. That is unless you want your friend to get hurt. I don't need them anymore after all. They were very st uh, they were stupid enough to think I wouldn't notice their double agent hogwash. Believe me, I know when someone's loyal to me. Dang it, he's going to get away, and I don't trust him about not hurting Crest once he's outside. If I leave him be, he'll kill them. I'll have to think of something before he gets to the door. What's the matter, Frog? The light switch is too far away. Well, I got your tongue. But the blinds in the window, Croak is just below them. I think there's still enough uh, light outside. If I can get Croak to open the blinds slightly, then I could use the reflection on my magnifying glass to briefly blind Bully? What? How do I signal him? I said you shouldn't move a muscle, Frog, but by that I definitely meant your brain, too. You better not be trying something funny. Why would I? The police are already on their way here. What? Even if I don't move a muscle, they'll catch you before your eyes can adjust to the light outside. Please, Croak, take the hint. You know, Frog, I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Such a shame you couldn't come to an agreement. Because unfortunately for you, I don't answer the threats. Ack! I make the threats. Croaky, now, you got it. Time to have the sun in your eyes, Wart. Okay, this is kind of an issue I have with, like, a lot of visual novels. Like, I kind of wish there were more ways to, like, portray what is going on. I don't know, like... The fact that it's just, like, static sprites explaining what's happening... I don't know. That is kind of a reason I have a hard time getting into visual novels for the most part. Like, I, maybe, like, some more, like, special, like, illustration screens could help portray this a bit better. It's just kind of weird, because they're just kind of moving back and forth and explaining what they're doing. <laughs> Crest, run! You don't have to tell them twice, partner. I'm gonna kill you. Gidget, look out. My tail! Serves you right, you traitor. Don't those grow back? <laughs> it's... Bully Toad, you're under arrest for violation of property, vandalism, robbery, assault, insect trafficking, and what's probably a long list of many other crimes. Damn it. Crest. It's okay. Uh, didn't I tell you? Gecko's tails grow back. Was your tail missing? Would it have been that hard to just, like, remove it from the sprite? I... <laughs> After that, Bully was arrested while Crest was hospitalized for the injury. I really was worried about them. Even if their tail would grow back, it'd leave a scar. Crest, on the other hand, wasn't too worried about it. They said it'd be like the mark of a hero. And they were happy to receive some apples for from me when I went to visit them in the hospital. Truly, it was a big relief to know that we had finally been able to catch the culprit of this case. Croak even found traces of the Mastermind's plans to eradicate Hoppity Town it was prom and was promoted to, to an inspector. Hoppity Town citizens were also starting to feel more relaxed. Uh, things are really starting to look up. 
Crest case was tricky since double agent or not, they still helped out a criminal to commit burglary. However, since all the information and evidence that Crest found out over the course of their undercover investigation helped out a lot, the police agreed to let them go with a lighter punishment. The fact that I gave them so much evidence against Bully must have helped them as well. Crest would be would have to do community service for all the houses they wronged. Luckily, Crest didn't mind. They are naturally very caring after all, even if they're embarrassed to admit it. And speaking of the crime, it turned out the Bully wasn't even the real mastermind, which made sense based on the clues that Crest had found. Plus, there was also that phone conversation they heard between Bully and someone else. I wonder who could that be? That's a story for another time, because today I'm, fi I'm finally getting Miss Lillyhop's morning special, The Swamp Cookies. Case closed. I must have got, like, the middle ending. Because, like, they mentioned, like, a, like, a bigger mastermind, and, like... I'm gonna be honest, this ending kind of feels like it wraps up very quickly. <laughs> My long-awaited morning special. Yeah, all the paperwork is finally done, isn't it, Gigi dear? You have no idea, Miss Lily Hops. It was torture. I think I'd rather do community service like Crest. Well, at least uh, me not babysitting you all the time has made you more responsible, eh, Gid uh, Gidget? Why, you little... Crusty has certainly helped me a lot these last few days. They clean my house and even uh, cook me dinner sometimes. Isn't that interesting? Shut up. I was surprised that even Crokey wanted to help with my baking. All this for an old cop. He didn't have to go all the way. I don't help, Miss Holy Hops. I'm sure he doesn't mind either. Alright, I did notice that he was having fun baking. Maybe I helped him find a new hobby. Miss Holy Hops, do you think they turned out alright? Speaking of the frog, we were just talking about you. You were? Oh, these are great and smell even better, really. Go on, dear, she'll be really happy. Especially considering the shape of the cookies, you know what I mean. Crest, you! Oh my frog, did you make those, Crokey? I can't wait to try them. Yes, I'll bring them over. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I like that game. Bully, you complete and utter fool. If you had underestimated our opponents, our plan would still be... I shouldn't lose my temper. Great things come to those who wait, after all. Mark my words, it may take some time, but I will get revenge, Miss Detective. That's the true ending! Wait, so that must have been more like a cliffhanger than like a, oh, you got the middle ending. Actually, hold on, let me check this developer's, like, ish.io page. I want to see, like, if they've done any more stuff like this. When did this game get released, anyway? How do you check this under studio? Published 37 days ago. That'll be a few months older by the time this actually goes up. <laughs> Fable novel. Hello, we're Fable novel. Our trademark is making visual novels with mystery, fantasy creatures, and animal themes. We hope our games will make you smile. Yuki Pudding, the director and artist. Free Karen, the writer and editor. Oh, it's just two people, huh? This is the only game they've made so far. Wow, this is their first game. Like that, this is really good for like a first, like attempt at something. <laughs> and this is apparently done for like a game jam called the Nano Reno Twenty Twenty. I don't know what that stands for. It's a visual novel Game Den's favorite... Wait. It appears to be like a visual novel, um... A visual novel, uh... Um... Game Jam. I I'm getting really off topic. Hold on a second. Okay, let me get back to... Digit in the Mysterious Theory 3 of Hop Ready Town. Okay. Was that all of them? 20 sounds like a complete number. Was he filled in before? <laughs> okay, so it says three endings. And there's the true ending, the normal ending, and the bad ending. So I, I think I got the best ending there. Hmm. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna go for the bad ending. I'm just curious. I'm assuming what I gotta do is, like, get questions wrong and, like, just just skip with, uh, with Crest whenever I can. I, 
I, I, I don't like how fast it's going. <laughs> there we go. Cool, okay. What are you talking about, kid? Croak told us uh, about the burger less than an hour ago. She must be talking about Nino baked mini cakes. Okay, so, so she's gonna be an idiot in this playthrough. <laughs> This game is short enough that I can- I'm fine doing just another, like, a whole ass playthrough right after this where I just do everything wrong. That's right, she's shaking. I'd love to have some cake, Miss Ollie Hops. And this is identical. Uh, can I skip this at all? I guess not. This I can skip. You know what, I think investigating here won't be necessary, Crest. What? It's okay, trust me, I know- I think I know where we should go next. Ms. Hops, thank you for letting us investigate the crime scene. And of course, for inv inviting us to that wonderful afternoon tea. That looks... similar. This was the correct answer. Well, she did hear the cooking timer, but that wasn't what was strange. No, it was the rustling and squelching noises. Beautiful. Okay, good. We didn't talk to you last time. Excuse me, miss? Miss? What's the big idea? I'm sorry, I was just trying to get your attention. Wait a second, that voice, are you Slippy from Froggy News? That's right, a fan? That's right, um, Slippy here. I can't wait to tell Miss Lily. Uh, no, that's not why I called you. Focus, Gidget. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, there's actually been a few robberies. It's, it, it's the third time this week. Why don't you people leave me alone? This is starting to tick me off. What do you mean? Just so you know, I'm a frog, okay? A frog. I'm not interested in voicing a toad guy from some furry 3D shooter video game. <laughs> I'm more of an RPG gamer myself. Plus, a toad is not even the main character. Call me again if you find a better role for me. I'm afraid you've lost me. Wait, you're not from... Beast Tendo. <laughs> I think Crest likes those games, don't they? I'm just a private investigator, miss, looking for a culprit in the recent robberies of the town. Thought maybe you might have seen or heard anything. Hey, now that you mention it, they're having some thieveries lately. Got yourself stuck? A little bit. Sorry, I don't gotta uh, go out much, other than for my job. After work, Slippy's out. I go play games at home. And just so you know, my consoles weren't stolen. Afraid I can't help you. I see, that's okay. Make sure you bring uh, this uh, Miss Lully um, you mentioned before. So she didn't hear me. Slippy's useless testimony. That was a waste of time. So I suspected she wouldn't know anything given her selective hearing. Wait, so I guessed to do that correctly the first time by, like, talking to the kid instead? I'm not sure if I like that. That feels a little random. I'm assuming this is all identical. This is wrong. You stole her cup, thief. No, I didn't. I just broke it. What? That actually makes more sense. As a police officer, I'm a- I'm a- I'm despicable. Okay. This is new? Oh, did we, like, not knock Crest out of the tree in this route? Maybe? It's a bit dark. Let's turn on the lights. This is... this must be the culprit's lair, but where are they? Look over there. What are you... I can't believe it. Insect trafficking? I see how it is now. Croak? Robberies were just a distraction. This was the culprit's aim all along. And based on the evidence, it has... it has to be Crest. What are you talking about? Why? Open your eyes, Gid uh, Gidget. Why would they have escaped otherwise? An innocent person would, wouldn't need to run away. But... do you see anyone's, uh, anyone else here? Crest abandoned their lair and fled. That's why we saw them outside. 
Do what you will, I'm gonna keep searching for Crest. I'll make sure they stay behind bars. I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed. I thought you were the kind of person who wouldn't excuse a criminal no matter your ties to them. I'll see you later, Gidget. A few days later, Croak really did manage to catch Crest. I heard it was quite a big deal too, since we had previously uncovered the lair and used it for insect trafficking. The police were certainly busier than ever before. As for me, I ended up leaving Hoppy Town not long after that. If that case had taught me something, it was that I wasn't fit to be a detective. Wow, that was a bad ending. Uh <laughs> Oh, wait. When did I get detective points? You have to get a flat zero to get like a worse ending or something? Huh. Oh, that takes me to their itch.io page. Okay. <laughs> Nice, alright. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I like this game quite a bit. <laughs> alright, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.